Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about isoenzymes or the isozymes, their types, characteristics and importance or the clinical significance of isoenzymes. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So what are isoenzymes? Isoenzymes or the isozymes are group of enzymes that catalyzes same reaction but they have different form and same catalytic efficiency or they catalyze the same reaction but having different form. Isoenzymes were first discovered by R. L. Hunter and Clement Marquette in 1957. The isoenzymes uh, differ in the amino acid sequence but uh, catalyze the same kinetic reaction. Isoenzymes are uh, different uh, molecular forms of the same enzyme synthesized from various tissues. Study of isoenzymes are uh, useful for understanding the disease of different organs. The increase or the decrease in the levels of uh, isoenzymes of particular tissue indicate certain damage or related to disease of the particular organ. Not all enzymes have isoenzymes. Only those enzymes which has uh, polymeric form uh, demonstrate isoenzymes. So some of the examples include uh, lactate dehydrogenase, uh, creatine kinase. The lactate dehydrogenase catalyzes the conversion of lactate to pyruvate and the LDH or the lactate dehydrogenase has uh, five forms LDH1 to LDH5 and uh, we will uh, look into the details later in this video. So as mentioned, uh, uh, there are the examples of uh, isozymes include lactate dehydrogenase and creatine kinase and the other enzymes include uh, acid phosphatase, alkaline phosphatase, amylase and hexokinase. So they are present in uh, different tissues. So based on how they are formed, uh, they can be classified into true isoenzymes or allozymes. So isoenzymes are called uh, true isoenzymes uh, when they are the products of uh, different genes. Some of the examples include salivary and uh, pancreatic amylases. And whereas uh, uh, isoenzymes uh, that are products of um, uh, different alleles of same gene, then it is called as the alloenzymes. Only one form will be present in uh, one individual, whereas, uh, whereas true isoenzyme will be present uh, in all forms in an individual. The examples of uh, alloenzyme include uh, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Uh, there are more than 400 distinct forms of uh, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase has been identified. So there are two types, true isoenzymes and allozymes. So true isoenzymes, uh, all forms are present in an individual, whereas alloenzyme, only one form will be present in an individual. So next coming to the characteristics of uh, isoenzymes, coming to the electrophoretic mobility, uh, in PAGE or agarose gel electrophoresis, uh, the LDH, uh, creatine kinase and alkaline phosphatase can be separated by electrophoresis uh, based on their mobility. LDH1 uh, uh, is the fastest moving and the LDH5 is the slowest moving isoenzyme of LDH in the uh, gel electrophoresis. Coming to the next uh, heat stability. Some of the isoforms uh, may be stable uh, than the other. Uh, example, uh, the hepatic ALP is more stable than the bone ALP. Inhibitors, uh, one of the isoenzyme may be sensitive to inhibitors. Uh, example include uh, tartrate label acid phosphatase. The next is the substrate specificity. The KM value or the substrate specificity may be uh, different for isoenzymes. And they are also different, can be differentiated based on the cofactor requirements. The cofactor requirements may be different for uh, different isoenzymes. Uh, the mitochondrial uh, isocitrate dehydrogenase is uh, NAD plus dependent and uh, cytoplasmic isoenzyme is uh, NADP plus dependent. So based on the cofactor also it can be identified or uh, differentiated. Uh, coming to the tissue localization, the uh, tissue localization may be different for different isoenzymes. For example, H4 form of um, LDH is seen in heart whereas M4 form is seen in the skeletal muscles. The examples of isoenzymes, uh, we will uh, look into these uh, in detail. Uh, one is the lactate dehydrogenase and the other is the creatine kinase. A lactate uh, dehydrogenase is a tetrameric enzyme that catalyzes the uh, oxidation of lactate to pyruvate. Uh, LDH has uh, five isoenzymes. Uh, they are LDH1, LDH2, LDH3, LDH4 and LDH5. Uh, LDH is uh, made up of uh, two types of polypeptide, a M type and the H type and these five isosomes of uh, isozymes of uh, LDH can be separated by electrophoresis due to their uh, difference in uh, electrophoretic mobility. 
as mentioned earlier ldh1 is the fastest moving and ldh5 is the slowest moving uh, the ldh1 uh, has uh, four subunits uh, they are h uh, h4 4h subunits where ldh2 is hh hm or the h3m ldh3 has uh, 2h and 2m and ldh4 has uh, 1h and 3m and ldh5 is all m type and the location of ldh1 is in heart and rbc and ldh2 it is also seen in heart and rbc ldh3 uh, in brain ldh4 um, in lungs and spleen and ldh5 in uh, liver and uh, muscle so coming to the clinical significance of uh, uh, ldh coming to the clinical significance of uh, ldh uh, the significantly elevated levels of uh, ldh1 and ldh2 is an indication of uh, myocardial infarction uh, within 24 to 48 hours of myocardial infarction there will be a significant increase in the ldh levels indicating the heart attack as uh, mentioned uh, you can see here the location of ldh1 and 2 are in heart so the elevated level uh, of LDH1 and 2 is indicative of uh, myocardial infarction or the heart attack. Coming to the uh, creatinine kinase, uh, creatinine kinase is an uh, isoenzyme or dimers made up of two polypeptide chains. It can be either M type or the muscle type or the B type or the brain type. There are three isoenzymes of uh, creatinine kinase. They are CK1, CK2 and CK3. CK1 is uh, BB type both uh, uh, present in brain and uh, CK2 is MB type present only in the cardiac tissue uh, whereas CK3 is present in the skeletal muscles. Coming to the clinical significance uh, of uh, creatine kinase, uh, creatine kinase may be elevated in uh, newborn particularly in uh, damaged brain or very low uh, birth weight. Increased level of uh, CK2 is, uh, uh, in blood is an indicator of uh, damage of heart tissue from myocardial infraction. I have done a video uh, about this uh, in the past uh, about the uh, different biomarkers. So I will link that in the description below. And elevated levels of uh, CK3 in serum is seen in all type of uh, dystrophies and uh, myopathies. That, that is a clinical significance of um, creatine kinase. So if there is an increase or the elevated level of CK2 that indicates uh, myocardial infraction. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.